Hi great YouTubers, welcome back. Online debugging in PLCs is a very useful feature. Old versions of Open PLC lack this very important feature. But guess what? This is a thing of the past because Open PLC now have this lovely feature. In this video, we will exploit this great feature together. Let's get started. Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you always be notified whenever I upload new videos. Okay, so to update you go to file and then click on for update. We click yes to update your open PLC editor. Remember after doing this update if open plc editor does not work well you need to uninstall it download a new version from the open plc website and then reinstall it again after which you can do the updates again okay click ok when it's done and now you need to close the editor and then open it again i go to the start menu and then double click on the icon okay we have the open PLC opened we now open a sample work so we use blink double click on the blink and basically this is how the interface looks like now now we have the debugging added to our header which we'll be using for the debugging in real time or what we term as the live debugging okay so we'll move on and then use the blink example to test this lovely function of live debugging okay so to do this we'll edit this logic a bit I would like to be able to turn off the blinking by pressing a button so first I will assign the LED to an output of my Arduino PLC board assign it to 0 0.1 add a new item and then I will change it to off is an input and then assign it to the start push button which is connected to address 0 0.1 I0.1 ok great I now delete this section and then insert the condition to turn off the blinking okay I assign the blink off and then change it to normally close position it correctly and then wire it up great this is all what we need to do I now click on the transfer or the upload icon we need to wait compilation done we now move and select our board my board is nano and then select our port I move to the communication end and you need to activate modbus RTU and then make sure your ID you take note of your ID and I come back to the transfer and then click on the transfer to PLC you need to be patient if this is the first time to take some time Okay, we can see that the uploading is done. We have our board working and when I press the button, it stops. When I release, it starts flashing again. Our code is working. Now let's try and observe this code live from our open PLC editor. To do this, I go to the live debugging. I click on it. It will compile for some time. okay we have this interface you need to select which medium you are connecting our ID was 1 so I changed it to 1 our port was 5 I changed it to 5 and then we leave the board rate as such okay great now we are online I need to click on this Google to connect and then we can see that we are monitoring what is happening within the POC live from the editor when I press the button 
you can see that the flashing stops and stops as well at the monitoring point i press it again and we can see it's working perfectly we can really visualize what is happening within the open plc editor great this is a lovely feature and this will really assist us in code debugging okay so if you want to stop you can use this button click on this button to stop the debugging thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial bye bye